Hello, welcome to my kit videos. Today I want to show you how to use the uh, this type of temperature controller. It's the DMW3001. Okay, it's a very simple thermostat to use. I love it, but it has advantages and disadvantages. Uh, you can uh, set a temperature difference of um, 0 0.1 okay and what I don't like about this thermostat is with the little power fluctuations sometimes it's not able to handle that at all it, it goes off and um, I bought 10 of them and one of them is already not coming on because there was um, some kind of power fluctuation as I was putting this in the power supply alright so that's what I don't like about this. So if you are buying, I advise you buy two. So you have one as standby. Okay. It's working for some people. Some people keep using just one for over a month, two months, over six months, and they are still it's still working great. Yeah. So if you are buying just try and get another one for standby. Okay. You can get this from my kit shop. Alright. And <clears throat> all are well tested before selling so if you buy from my case shop you are assured of um, quality thermostat now it's very easy to wire <clears throat> okay very easy to wire this one where we have NTC that's a temperature sensor and the cable is very long about uh, one and a half meters okay so it's long enough and then we have the out really and then the in okay now um, there's a 12 volt version there's a 24 volt um, option and then there's a 220 volts and the relay capacity is 1500 watts okay so um, if you have heaters up to 1500 watts you can connect them this um, heater for instance uh, this heater for instance is for incubators and then it is just 300 watts if you come to my kitchen shop you can get the 200 watts we have the 500 watts okay so this being 200 watts or 300 watts you can connect to this relay okay so your wires just go here all right so I'm going to be taking you through the wiring in this video and then I also take you through the settings how to set it all right okay now here are very important points to note if you are wiring this in order to make it work properly keep your black wires neutral okay you know in your connection you have life and then neutral so make sure your blacks are all going to neutral the red is your life okay the red is supposed to go to life all right so here's go what's going to happen the in the in we are going to put into our power supply our power socket which is 220 volts because that is marked over here over here can you focus yeah 220 volts is marked in red over here so we are going to put this which is the in the two cables at the end to our power supply okay the black will go to the neutral and the red will go to life okay very important let your red continue uh, to your life okay and if if you are loving the video already be sure to subscribe i'm going to wait um, a few seconds yeah come on please um, hit the subscribe button yeah it helps a lot uh, okay thank you very much thanks for subscribing and thanks for loving this video all right so here's how you are going to look for your your life so let's say here's our power supply okay so if you put your tester all right this is common to get it's called tester in electric shops yeah you put in your terminals and you can see the red can you see the red light? Can you? Can you see the red light? The tester. tester. Can you see the red light? Come close to the. 
Okay, yeah. So this red light indicates this our life, our lifetime now. This is the earth. Okay, won't be using this often. And then there's the neutral. The neutral doesn't give any light. Okay, but the lifetime now gives light. All right. Yes. Yeah, so that's how you, we are going to do it. So um, this one, I put this aside. This one is already connected. So we have red going to our life. Focus. I should. Okay, so I'm putting the part on, and very important, um, let me talk about this, the out. Now, the out will go straight to your your load. Um, if you are using this as a controller for a cooler, this will go straight to your 220 volt fan, okay, or your 220 volt cooler. This is already neutral. This is already live. So you just connect them straight away. If you are using this as a controller for heater, you have your heater. You have your heater. Straight away, you connect this wire to the neutral and then this to the live. Okay. Uh -huh. Unlike the other thermostats like the STC1000, there's a different way to wire it. But this one makes the work uh, much easier you just connect them straight all right so the moment so the moment you connect this you are going to have power in these wires so you should be very careful when testing them all right so that you don't get shocks yeah so i'm going to separate them okay so that my life and my neutral don't touch okay don't touch okay so i have my life and then the neutral and i'm going to just use this to just keep the wires stable okay else when there's any arcing that could uh, blow your thermostat up so i'm turning it on and we have it on already yes can you see this red light here okay that's the indicator that there's power in the out there's power in the out section mm -hmm. indicator meaning there's power in the out section so if you have your heater or your cooler connected this red light shows that that heater or cooler should be working by now so if I use the tester on this wire Okay. If I use the tester on the life, can you see that? Can you see? Can you see the light? Yeah. So this shows that there's power in the yellow wire. So our heater should be working. Okay. Now, um, that's just about the wiring okay now let's talk about now let's talk about how to set it now if you want to use this as a heater let's say you are making an incubator a small incubator and you want to set it for your heater for example i like to set my upper temperature to 37.8 and the lower temperature to 37.3 okay 37.8 37.3 the difference is just 0 0.5 all right so what i'm going to do is i want the heater to stay on till 37.8 and then it cuts so what i'm going to do is i'm going to press uh, i'm going to press down okay then i'll hold it it will be blinking so now i'll set it to 37.8 if you hold it 37.8 okay yeah and then you leave it when it stops blinking when it stops blinking then it has saved all right so if you want to see the temperature at which your power 
will go off you just press the down button and then it will tell you the temperature you have set as the upper limit now to set the lower limit you are going to press you hold you press the up button currently it's 37.0 then you hold it then you hold it it will be blinking and then you set it to 37.3 as i said and then you leave it to save yeah so now this is the temperature at which when the temperature drops below my heater will come on and then this is the temperature at which my heater will go off all right so if you are using it as a cooler you just uh, do the opposite of of what i of what i did all right so thanks for watching um if you have further questions um just comment below just comment below just comment below and i just got some hot water here hot water i want to put the sensor in and then see when it's going to go off all right so at that temperature the relay went off and then when i cool it down cooling the sensor when it gets to 37 37.3 the, the relay should come on again okay 37.3 all right so give my video a thumbs up kindly do that and subscribe if you haven't more videos to come i upload videos frequently so just subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos thanks for watching bye